This video should be titled Comments from the Peanut Gallery, but I'm going to take a different tactic. I'm gonna come at it a different kind of way. First of all, what I'm showing you with the car business, and some of you are loving that I'm making mistakes and having errors and you're actually talking to me as if we're equal. I'm gonna say this, and this is the elitist MF for me. I've created multi-million dollar businesses. Have you? I don't think so. And also, stop putting in the comments that I should talk to people. You don't think that I've reviewed all these folks? One guy that y'all keep wanting me to talk to doesn't even have a proper website with no functionality. There's a website without any inventory. You gotta call in to make an appointment. When I get to that point where I have my own rental agency, you will be able to go online and book cars. Uh, building a website like that's gonna cost about ten, twenty thousand dollars to have it properly coded. I already know that. And you, you're, you're, you want me to talk to someone who hasn't even set that up and I can tell you by not having a website without proper functionality, they're losing millions. They're losing millions. So let's go ahead and talk about real business because a lot of you is like, it's gonna take you forever to get your money back. Fool, you don't even have $260,000. You will never have $260,000. I'm gonna tell you why. Real business takes time. And there have been numbers of people like, it's going to take you forever to get your money back. Based on my, my estimates, it's going to take me 14 months if things keep going the way that they're going. Or it's going to take me 18 months if I have some more calamity to get my money back. Now, if you knew business and you knew money, that is extremely quick. Apple did not make a profit for 10 years. Microsoft did not make a profit for 10 years. Amazon did not make a profit for 14 years. And once again, many of you are seduced by the internet peanut gallery that you can build these businesses real quick. And also for the person that left the comment, the guy who does hire car, who had two cars, he wasn't profitable and he stopped making videos about hire car because it wasn't working. Go to his channel. His name is Justin Brubaker. He stopped making videos about hire car because it wasn't going well. He stopped. There are no more recent videos about hire car on this channel. And I'm gonna tell you why, because it didn't go well. And he wasn't profitable because he had one car I think he owned and then he bought another car for 3500 and once again, all right, I'm trying to give you real information and a lot of y'all want to reject it. I had one commenter say, the most you should spend is $4,000 for a car. You're going to get an absolutely destroyed car for $4,000. It's going to be destroyed. It's going to have 200K thousand miles on it. It's going to be really rough. And once again, I'm giving you information from the field. I'm out here doing this. And a lot of you want to sit on your assumptions, untested assumptions. And this is why I'm doing this. I am trying to give you real data and a lot of you keep rejecting it thinking that you can somehow cheat the system. So let me say I spend 300K and it takes me 15 months to get it back. That is amazingly quick. You know, people will spend a million or two for a McDonald's and not get their money back for five or eight years. For a McDonald's, a proven successful business model and a lot of you guys are being seduced by these internet hustlers once again i have checked out all of the people in the toro space and you know what's funny the best information came from a guy who doesn't get a lot of his name is cardi car air car airbnb he's here on youtube he doesn't get a lot of views and he put out some of the best information and a lot of you are seduced by fancy cars 
in a certain lifestyle because like I said, I was actually surprised to see one of these people who supposedly is big um, not have a proper website. If you're trying to make money online, you got to have a proper website. I know this from experience. If you don't have a proper website that makes it easy for people to do business with you, you're leaving money on the table. That's gospel. I'm telling you that. And essentially, I have a perfect mixture of making money offline and making money online. You keep, keep talking to people. Just talk to people. Talk to this person. This person's got all these trackers on their cars. Hertz, National, Avis don't have trackers on their cars, and they've been renting cars for decades. Now, when we get to that point, and you know, some of you are not watching the videos because you're commenting, you're making comments based on things that I already said I was going to do. I'm going to get my own GPS person because I'm going to need one, especially next year when I'm doing like 20 cars a month. When I get up to 20 car, let's say 20 months from now, I get up to 20 cars a month, I'm going to need my own GPS person. I'm going to need to set up a network because essentially, I already see where I'm going. I'm going to have to set up a network because I'm going to have to set up a monitoring room. And this, this is something that's just going to come in time. And I'm not going to, due to fear, being scared. Oh, someone got my car. Like I said, I'm going to say it again. I've said it in one video. I don't care if they smoke weed. I don't care if they speed. As long as they pay and don't wreck the car, I don't care. I don't really care. I'm not attached. I'm not emotionally attached to these cars. I really don't give a damn. As long as they rent the car, they bring it back intact, and they pay me, that's the only thing I care about. I am not focused on all of this other stuff. Like, I don't want to know that someone is speeding on 285 at 1 o'clock in the morning. I gives a damn. I really don't care. And actually, as a speeder, I'm a speeder. That's the best time to speed on 285. There's less traffic. So, once again, a lot of you guys have no concept of real business. And this is why I'm doing this. To show you real business. To give you updates on real business. To demonstrate the real business process. And a lot of you are on this internet stuff and a lot of you who are watching these other uh, car people, how many of you have bought cars? Because I can tell by your comments, because once again, I'm out here in the field. I'm out here buying cars. I'm out here renting cars. I'm actually doing it. And your comments make absolutely no sense because your comments are based upon untested assumptions. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Like, Oh, the most you can spend is four times. Let me tell you, every day, uh, I haven't done it today, every day I go on hire a car and I look at what other people are renting. And there are some people who are renting newer cars or new cars, absolutely brand new cars that cost 20, 25,000. But this is when I found out because I'm actually doing this. People rather spend $55,000 for an older BMW per day than $55 for a new Sentra. It's like, if I'm going to spend that money, I'm going to drive what I want to drive. I've already seen that a lot of uh, people on hire car, are, they're not pricing their vehicles correctly. And this is something that I know from years of experience of selling stuff to people. Pricing is key. And how do you get to your, pro you know, I've already been, I made some mistakes. I bought some cars that were too expensive. And over the next two months, I'm going to correct those mistakes. I'm going to get rid of these cars and I'm going to get cheaper cars. And this full transparency, because I guarantee you, if we were to sit down and compare business success over time, me against you, I'm going to win every time. This business, I've only been in seven weeks. Seven weeks. And you clowns are expecting like, you should be profitable already. 
each comment that's made by a peanut gallery member was like, yeah, you had success. You, you're, you're just like my, one of my famous haters who will remain nameless. It was like, well, you know, you had some success over here. I've had multitude of success in the past, but you know what? In the future, I'm gonna have way more success. And you know, it was like your confidence. Your confidence is, is like, you're so confident. Yeah, I'm confident. You know why? Because I've done this before. I have started a business from scratch and made millions. I've done this before. And you clowns who are like, I've only been doing this seven weeks. And you clowns are like, well, it's going to take you forever to be profitable. No, it's not. It's not going to take me forever to be profitable. 14 to 18 months for me to start getting my money back. And if you knew anything about business, because you're not a business person, you've never started a business, you've never run a business, I can tell by your comments, and you are what I like to call a fantasy watcher. You like to watch other people who are showing you exotic cars. Because that's how a lot of people hook you. They show you the exotic cars, they show you the lifestyle, but they never get into the numbers. They never get into the paychecks. They never get into the bank accounts. They never show you. And also, I'm going to say that many of your car gurus that you guys love, their businesses aren't built on the cash basis. They're built on credit. And as I know, in the future, once I build this solid cash foundation of revenue, then I will use that revenue to get business credit. I will not be doing this business in my personal name, but I got to have revenue. I got to have cash deposits going into the bank to say, hey, bank, this is what I'm doing. This is what I want. This is how I can make sure that I pay my bills. I got, once again, I am showing you guys how to do this and it takes time. I'm like, I've been doing this seven weeks. Seven weeks. And some of you are like, oh, you're laughing. Keep laughing. I'll be laughing to the bank while your broke ass is still trying to figure out how to start your first business. Trying to start your first business because you're scared. You're scared to make mistakes. You're scared to fall on your butt. You're scared. And like, I'll go up here and it's like, that was a mistake. I will show you. You want to know why? Because I've learned in the past that doing that leads to making more money. And for all of you pocket watchers, I've not lost a penny in this business. When you spend money and create a startup, the expectation of an immediate profit is ludicrous. It's stupid. And some of you, hey, you, you know this guy? Like, you don't even know how to analyze. Like, Justin Brubaker is one of the biggest hire car videos on YouTube. And he ain't even making more videos. Because it didn't work out. He couldn't scale. In August, I'm going to make more money from this car rental business than 99% of the people on YouTube and, car, and, and Turo and hire car. You want to know why? Because they ain't start with no money. I started with 260, which gives me, which will move me in mere months that took them four, five, six, and seven years to get to. I'll be at that same position. In August, I fully expect to do, be doing about 30,000 a month. And if August, if I just wanted to hit the chill button and just say, you know what? I'm just going to collect this 30K for the next 10 months and then I'm going to start scaling up again using the company money. I have that option. I have that option and August ain't that far away. But many of you in the peanut gallery are stuck on stupid. You're idiots. You're dumb. You think that you can go out and use one of these internet tactics and start making some large money really quickly. You're stupid. You're absolutely stupid. 
And when someone shows you the truth because you are an idiot, you don't even want to accept that. I'm, with a, I'm, I'm, like, I'm, I'm laughing at how confident you are. I'm laughing. Bitch, you ain't started one damn business. Not one. I've started several. In all of my businesses since GC Solutions selling new office furniture, every business after that has been successful. Every business. And this business will be successful. I've been doing it seven weeks. I, I'm just sitting there like, you guys are so unseasoned. You don't really know nothing about money. You don't know nothing about business credit. And I'm trying to show you and you reject it because you want it so damn fast. You want to be like rolling out. You want to be doing what you need to be doing. You want to be... It, gosh, you have these fantasies because they're not grounded in reality. You are laughing at a true entrepreneur who is showing you real game, but because you are stupid, because you want to believe in fantasies, because you want to believe in unicorns, because you want to believe in fairy tales, that you reject the real and you worship the fake. Like, I am not going to start any YouTube or social media wars with any of these car people. I, that's why I'm not mentioning any names. But I've looked at them and I can see a lot of flaws and a lot of problems with their business model. Like when I roll out Mac Daddy Deluxe, you will be able to go on that website. You will be able to see a car because essentially what you got to do is build a website and you got to build a database. So I got to have a website that's hooked up to a database that checks cars in and out. So essentially this website's gotta be coded a certain way. So when the car is checked out, rented, it, it's no longer on the website. Or it will be unavailable until this period. I gotta find me a web developer to do all that. And the, the website's gotta be fast. It's gotta be fat. It cannot be slow. It cannot be laggy. It cannot be pausing. It's gotta be fast because people are impatient. And it's got to be able to accept payments. Because essentially, um, when you got to create a website where someone's got to pick up the phone and call you, that's called friction. And there's a lot of people who've hit that website and it's like, eh, I don't really want this. It's too problematic. It's too much of a hassle. They're, I, I guarantee you, they're losing money by not having the proper website. They're losing money. This is coming from someone with 20 years of experience of selling stuff online. 20 years. And when I get Mac Daddy Deluxe Auto, the website's gonna be slick, it's gonna be smooth, you're gonna be able to make payments, you're gonna be able to do your reservation, and that's gonna take $10,000, $20,000 to build that website. Which also shows me that this Toro business is relatively new. And Mark my words, and this is me being confident. I'm going to know more about renting cars in a year than some of these guys learned in seven or six years. You want to know why? Because I have a vision. My goal is not to be on hire car or Toro exclusively forever. My goal is to use hire car, to use Toro, to build up where I have my own independent website. And if I'm still on hire car or Toro, it's because it's going to benefit me. I will not be their slave forever. I will not be their slave forever. And none of these guys who are doing Toro, they none of them have their own independent, high-functioning website. Zero. So why do I want to talk to someone that isn't where I want to be? Y'all kill me. Like, talk to him. He got three trackers. I guarantee you, um, uh, granted, if I had a tracker on the Porsche, I wouldn't be going through what I'm going through. Lesson learned. And also, if I hadn't bought the Porsche, I wouldn't be going through what I'm going through. I've learned very quickly what kind of cars I'm going to stay away. Because essentially, if I get another Porsche, that's going to go on Turo. 
Uh, the Mercedes is on Turo. I'm not having those kind of issues because Turo has a different clientele, a different customer base. But I know what works over here at Hire Car, and in the future, that's what I will be buying. I will not be buying, like, go online and do some research and see what you can get for $4,000 right now. It's going to be absolute trash. I got a car I paid $6,800 for, and that car is on the boot list. That car, the Mini, and some of the SUVs. I'm getting rid of those because they're problematic. I'm getting rid of these cars. And one of the things that you guys have got to understand, this is real business. I mean, you know, this whole thing, it's gonna, I'm like, you don't even know. And this, this, this is what gets me. You don't even know it took Amazon 14 years to make a profit. 14 years after billions were invested. Billions, it took them 14 years. Microsoft, it took them 10 years after billions were invested. Apple, it took them 10 years after billions were invested. I only got 200, and this is one of the reasons that I'm not putting more money into it. The more money I put into it, the longer it takes for me to get my money back. But if you knew business, if you, you, you had a clue, you would know that. But you don't. You're seduced by these fantasies of starting a business and drinking fruity tropical drinks and hanging out with Big Booty Betty in the middle of the day because you're you an entrepreneur. You're an entrepreneur. I'm a boss, man. I wake up when I want to wake up and I just make it rain money. Simple ass. Just a simple ass. But for all of you in the comments who want to, let, let's go ahead and compare documented business exp success against your assumptions. Because the majority of you who are making these moist man comments don't even have a business. Don't even have one business. And it's cracking me up. That's what I laugh at. Because I can dissect your comments just like I dissected all these car gurus. Because like, I'm like, go ahead, show me one, show me one of these car gurus that has a high functioning, high speed website. And that's what you need today to win. I already know that. In the fact that they're in business and they have not had anyone, to, they, they haven't talked to anyone who knows e-commerce. You cannot have a slow, e this is why Shopify is killing the game because the site is fast. You cannot have, you cannot build a e-commerce website on your own server. You're going to have issues with speed. You're going to have issues with usability. You're going to have issues with payment. This is stuff that has to be hardwired into your, your website. And your website's got to look good. It's got to be functional. Go to Hertz. Go to Avis. Go to National. Their websites, boom, 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 boom. And that's one of the keys if you want to make money online. And a lot of these car gurus have set this up. Not a one. If you got a website where I got to call you to do business with you, I instantly have lost 50 to 70% of my business. 50 to 70% of my business. I know this. And this, this, I keep saying you guys, and you know, Time will tell. As we go forward, as you see the money, as you see the documented process, I'm going to make many of you clowns eat your words because I remember when I was out in the storage auction game and the guy was telling me, don't try to do storage auctions full time. Uh, it'll just break your heart. Just break your heart, man. Just break your heart. And I did it full time for 10 years. So this is where the confidence comes from. The confidence comes from actually being successful, doing things that people say I cannot do. Erica Williams, she talked to multi-millionaire truck owners and she, she getting out the game. And she talked to people. You, 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 you gotta understand, 
Talking to people, having mentors can be helpful. If there was someone who had built a car rental business and had their own high functioning website, I would be talking to that person because they're where I want to go. But until I find that person, I'm just going to rely on my experience because many of you moist clowns, you, 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 I actually had $260,000 to invest in this business. And y'all like, we're going to ignore that. And I still have a lot of money in the bank. We're going to ignore that. And you know, I've been doing YouTube for 12. We're going to ignore that right now. He's taking all these L's because he's been in business for seven weeks. Seven weeks. And a lot of you scared little punks won't even start one little business. And I've already started several. And probably going to start another one. There's another business percolating up in my mind. So uh, I'm waiting to get this to where I want it to be. But once again, you guys, I am teaching you real business. I am not teaching you fairy tales. I am not giving you unicorn stories. I'm not playing with your emotions. I'm not telling you what you want to hear, which is part of the problem. I'm telling you what you need to hear, especially with this business credit. When I get to a higher level of business credit, because right now I've got like $200,000 in business credit, and the biggest business credit line I have is a charge card which is, you know, got to pay that bad boy off every 30 days. And I, that's the card I use the least. I want true credit cards. I want a true line of credit. That's what I'm aiming for. That's what I'm building. And a lot of you guys are so amazed by BS. I think P.T. Barnum or whoever said it, if you can't dazzle them with brilliance, baffle them with BS. And a lot of you are baffled with the BS and y'all don't even know which way is up. You don't know which way is up. So that's all I got for you people. But once again, here at the Money Lab, we do real business. We talk the truth. We don't sugarcoat. We don't make up stuff. And we don't tell you it's going to be easy because, you know, you're scared. You're scared. Oh, I got to start a business. I got to take a risk. I might lose money. Oh, oh. Little scared little bitch. Stop being a scared little bitch. Be a man, be a woman, and put yourself in the game. Stop being scared. Because, you know, you know what scared is going to get you? Nothing. That's what scare is going to get you. Absolutely nothing. So that's all I got for you guys. I will see you in the next one.